Yes, welcome back to Sepang in Malaysia. So just under two hours remaining of the opening day of the opening test of the 2018 season. We're currently looking at Johan Zarco on track. But the big news has been, as Matt mentioned just a few moments ago, the track has been drying out significantly over the last few hours. It's now completely bone dry and lap times have been tumbling down very, very quickly indeed. At the moment, it's Andrea Dimitrioso who tops the timesheets. Of course, the runner-up to the 2017 World Championship. Heads Maverick Vinales and Valentino Rossi. Rossi sat at the top of the timesheets for a good half an hour or so earlier on, but now it is Dimitrioso who is leading the way. There was quite a flurry of track, track action about 45 minutes or so ago on the circuit. At the moment, there's just four or five riders on track. Cal Crutchlow, Andrea Rianone, Franco Morbidelli, Silva and Gintoli, Alicia Spargaro and Tito Rabat all out on the circuit at the moment. On the left-hand side of your screen you can see the live time, so keep an eye on any changes in uh, positions over the course of the next few moments and see whether any riders are improving. And as I say that, Andrea Rianone pops it up into ninth place, so a personal best time for the Team Suzuki X-Star rider. Now we've talked about Cal Crutchlow, he's in fourth place and currently pounding around on track at the moment. He's got three factory Hondas at his disposal for this test. Of course, all 2018 chassis, as we mentioned earlier on as well, but he, unfortunately, was the victim of a small crash earlier on, around about 20 minutes or so ago on circuit. He had a slight tumble on the track and has had to go back to pit lane and is now out on one of his other motorcycles. Fortunately, not too much damage done. We didn't quite know where the uh, crash was, but nonetheless, Cal up and OK. Fortunately, now back out on track, pounding around some laps, getting in some crucial data for the LCR Honda team. Conversely, his teammate, Takaki Nakagami, of course, making his debut in MotoGP this year. He is 16th fastest at the moment and looking very nice out there on circuit. We're currently looking, though, at Valentino Rossi. As I said, he was uh, quickest for a quite a significant period, around about 45 minutes or so ago, only to have his lap time bettered by his teammate and Andrea De Vizioso, who likewise has now ventured out onto the circuit. It's been a really interesting first day here at the uh, Sepang track. Of course, we started in those horrible wet conditions. It was really not very nice out there at all. Thunderstorms reaching the circuit, big black clouds and some heavy, heavy showers. And this Sepang circuit, it's not the quickest riding track on the Moto GP calendar, so there was some speculation as to whether we would see any bikes out at all. Fortunately, though, uh, it soon dried, the sun came out, and it's now over 30 degrees with a 70% of humidity. So riders and team members are uh, turning the aircon up to full blast more than anything to get uh, the box nice and cool and get uh, themselves in the right frame of mind for the last couple of hours of testing. Here, though, is Jorge Lorenzo and Danny Pedroza. Now, Lorenzo, fifth fastest. Of course, his first win this season in 2017 since 2005. He'll be really hoping for more. And uh, as we saw in the interview with Casey Stoner around about five or so minutes ago, uh, he is expecting more of uh, Lorenzo this year, hoping to make a step forward. Of course, they're out on the GP18 machine, their brand new challenger for the 2018 season, of course. They did do incredibly well last year in the GP17, guys. But uh, this year is looking very, very exciting indeed. Of course, a new livery on that bike. They used the 2017 bike as a base to evolve for the GP18. And, of course, Casey Stoner was testing it a few days ago as well. Meanwhile, somebody who's been on top form, as ever, is Mark Marquez, the reigning six-time world champion. Uh, new team manager at the Repsol Honda outfit in the form of Alberto Pooch this year, of course, after Livio Supo left at the back end of last year. Of course, they debuted their new hammerhead fairing, although we haven't seen that out on track so far today. Test rider Hiroshi Oyama tested it on uh, Thursday here at Sepang, but we haven't seen it break cover on the opening day. Interestingly, both Repsol Honda riders have got three RC213Vs at their disposal. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what comparisons and what changes that they make over the course of the day. Here's the rookie Tom Luty, his first time out on track, of course, after missing the Valencia post-season test last year due to injury. He, unfortunately, at that very corner there, turn number two, crashed in uh, qualifying for Moto2, ended up breaking his ankle and, unfortunately, missed the end of the Moto2 season. One scuffing his title chances and two delaying his debut on the Moto2 bike. So we'll be seeing how Tom Luty goes over the course of this test. Currently, though, he's sitting a bit further down the order than I'm sure he would uh, like to be at the moment, but, of course, early steps 
so far. Some more lap times coming in. Keeps an eye on the left-hand side of the screen. Cal Crutchlow goes up into fourth place. Tito Rabat also into uh, 21st position. As I said, just a few riders now out on track at the moment. So a very interesting uh, opening day here in Sepang. Of course, it's the 5.54 kilometre circuit, 3.34 miles. Developed, of course, in 1999, designed by Herman Tilke and uh, made its debut on the Grand Prix motorcycle racing calendar in the same year. The first international event that was hosted here at Sepang in 1999 was uh, the Grand Prix uh, motorcycle racing scene. Of course, the legendary 500s were out on track during that time. It really was a sight to behold. And the circuit now, of course, used for the Malaysian Grand Prix and pre-season testing as well. As we said, Jorge Lorenzo, we're looking at him on screen at the moment. He'll be looking for some keen improvements over the course of this 2017 season. Didn't do too badly last year, let's be honest. Three podiums, of course, with that uh, Ducati team. But he was in contention for a race victory at Mazzano, let's not forget, in the wet weather. But unfortunately, a lack of, lapse of concentration caused him to crash out in the wet conditions, go down the road, and that was uh, his first real chance of a victory of the season. Uh, put pay to that, so a big shame for Lorenzo there. But he'll be hoping for, as we said, some improvements over the course of this year. And... He's got some improvements to make with the bike and get himself set up. His teammate Andrea De Vizioso will likewise be uh, hoping for a similar season to 2017, if not even better. Finished second in the championship, took the championship fight to Marc Marquez right down to the finale in Valencia. And it was only uh, an unfortunate crash for De Vizioso that put pay to his uh, title chances. But the team looking confident, they said, of course, in uh, pre-season when they launch the bike that they are hoping to fight for the title they think they can fight for the title and of course using that GP17 bike as the base they uh, have got a, a good solid start to their machine meanwhile here is Jack Miller he of course is with Pramac Racing the Alma Pramac Racing team in 2018 moves over from the outfit and it'll be interesting to see how uh, Jack Miller goes on the GP17 Pramac Racing bike here though is Alex Rins finished fourth in Valencia last year after an injury strewn season real big disappointment for Alex Rins to unfortunately be battling injury over the course of the first half of his debut year in MotoGP but he definitely silenced any critics he had when he came back and put in some very strong performances at the end of the season two top five finishes one in Japan and as I said one in Valencia as well it was a very impressive performance from the Spanish rider he also dabbled a bit in commentary as well so he uh, kept himself busy whilst he was uh, recuperating, that's for sure. Riders now out on track. Mark Marquez, Paul Spargro, Andrea Iannone out on the circuit. As well as Jack Miller, Takaki Nakagami, Tito Rabat. Interesting to see whether they're able to better their lap times. Of course, they're out on the slick Michelin rubber. The track is increasing in grip all the more. So it's uh, getting better and better and faster and faster.